Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, so some numbers for today. Uh, we are reporting 900, 983 new people diagnosed with COVID-19 in the state. We continue to average uh, just over 1,000 new infections per day. And the number of people with active or current infection is 8,495. Our test positivity rate continues to hover around 12%. And as the governor showed in the graph uh, just a minute ago, hospitalizations have decreased, but there continue to be about 400 people hospitalized um, statewide with COVID-19. Um, 400 people hospitalized right now with uh, COVID-19. And then unfortunately, seven new deaths um, from COVID-19 to report today, bringing the total number of deaths to 1,875 um, people that have died from COVID-19 during the pandemic. Two of these new deaths are in people associated with a long-term care facility, but the majority of deaths that we are seeing continue to be um, community-based uh, deaths. Um, we are watching very closely what's happening with uh, the Omicron variant. Um, and as I'm sure people are aware, the, there are increasing um, infections with the Omicron variant across the country. Um, we continue to see the majority of infections here in New Hampshire with the Delta variant. Um, in the last week, we have identified six new infections due to Omicron. Uh, and so our data dashboard uh, tonight will be updated, uh, showing a total of nine total identifications of uh, the Omicron infection. Certainly this is expected to be an underestimation of all the Omicron that's out there, but the vast majority of infections that we are seeing here in New Hampshire continue to be with the Delta variant. Um, <clears throat> this also stresses the um, importance of um, people getting vaccinated uh, before the Omicron variant becomes more widely circulating. Uh, everybody five years of age and older should seek out vaccination and everybody 16 years of, of age and older um, who has already completed a primary series should get a booster dose. The booster dose particularly continues to be important, especially as we see the Omicron variant um, emerge across the country and in New Hampshire. Um, and then finally, in addition to vaccination, as the governor mentioned, it's important for people to also continue to, to continue to take other steps over the holiday season as they're gathering with people. It's important for people to uh, stay at home and not gather publicly if they're having symptoms of COVID-19, they should seek out testing. Um, for people that uh, are um, thinking about attending family gatherings, uh, testing is a good strategy. Um, but testing before attending family gatherings is important uh, to identify infection early and before introducing it into groups of people. And then if people have high risk exposures, either through travel or through gatherings, um, getting tested after return from travel or after return from a, a family or group gathering is also important. And in that uh, setting, we recommend testing, you know, five to seven days after a potential um, exposure. And then finally, we continue to recommend that people keep gatherings uh, small. And as the governor mentioned, just be aware of uh, the settings that you're walking into and take the necessary precautions. We continue to advocate for a um, layered prevention strategy. Um, and while that starts with vaccination and vaccination continues to be the most important tool that we have uh, it, it is important for people to also continue to take other steps to protect themselves and family and friends. And with that, I will hand things to the commissioner. Thanks. Good afternoon. Uh, Long-term care update. We're holding pretty steady. We've closed three outbreaks since our last press conference. We are opening three new outbreaks. So steady at 25 outbreaks uh, for the state of New Hampshire. Thank you. 